Well, several people are hoping to represent the entire city on Fort Wayne City Council. There are five Republicans running for three at-large seats on the council. 555's Cody Butler has more. When voters go into the booth in just over a month, they will have to pick three people running for Fort Wayne City Council at large to move on to the general election. Right now, Tom Freistroffer, Michael Baranda, and John Crawford hold those seats. We got a lot of good things done, and uh, you know, I think it's time to continue to keep forward pushing. I just like to uh, feel that I can give back something to the city. I'm a native of Fort Wayne. Baranda says he'd like to see the administration working with city council more. He says that could ultimately do better deals for citizens. It will ultimately result in better contracts. You know, the Red River contract wasn't the best contract. Freistroffer, meanwhile, wants to see more investment outside the downtown area. We need to focus on our other neighborhoods. We need to focus on the infrastructure, which is the backbone and the skeletal structure of our city. With Crawford running for mayor, many Republicans see this year as an opportunity to fill a void. Perry Township trustee Eric Tipman is one of them. Running for uh, all the teachers, engineers, CPAs, scientists, people, you know, have to get the right answer in their day-to-day -day job. He says he is focused on the budget and wants to make cuts wherever possible. Within weeks, you know, my, my township's making tens of thousand dollars more a year in interest just by shuffling the money around. Nathan Hartman is currently appointed to several boards by the city council. So really trying to understand how the city operates and, and things I can do better. He would like to focus on economic development. I think we can do a lot better with the jobs we bring here. I think we can bring better paying jobs here. I think we have a lot of amenities and a great workforce. Joe Townsend is running to try to reduce violent crime in the community. Right now we don't have proper deterrence to, we're not solving the crime. He says to bring deterrence, the police department needs to be restructured. Because um, we only have four homicide detectives to solve the murder rates, so that's not helping the situation. The last day to register to vote is Monday, and early voting begins on Tuesday. In Fort Wayne, Cody Butler, Fox 55 News. Starting next week, we'll take a look at the contested Democratic races in Fort Wayne to help you decide.